Okay, so this is going to be my first unboxing video that I think I've ever done. Um, so, some of you might be able to see here. This is from CollectorKnives.net. And let's see if we can get into this package here. Obviously, I'm going to try to keep that side down because that's got all my information on it. Um, let's see here. How does this open? Like that. Okay. Stuff wrapped in newspaper here. Okay, there's two there. For a minute there, I thought there was only one knife. And, uh, yeah, I ordered two. Okay, so starting out, we got a nice uh, collector's knife leather slip that you can spend an extra $10 on when you order a knife from them. I got this for one of the knives. This is the, they call it ox blood or something. It's kind of like a really dark brown with a little bit of a, like a red hue to it. Um, what else is in here? Shipping information. Something about Jesus. If you're into that. So yeah, leather slip. And in here, wrapped up in some newspaper here. Some interesting... Oh, it's like uh, some sort of pamphlet on their area, I think, it looks like. That's cool. Okay, we got a W.R. Case and Sons box and a Lion Steel box. So we're saving the Lion Steel because that's the one that I'm the most excited about. I'll open up the case here first. Anybody who gets case knives knows how these come, so I'm not going to bother talking about it. And another case rust lock. Look at that bone. Oh man, that's pretty. It's a bit like a raspberry bone. I like that shield. Let's see how it opens up here. Feels good. I don't really see any gaps. Wow, this one doesn't seem to have any play, so that's awesome. Yeah. Got a New case rust lock, this one in raspberry bone. Feels good. Feels better than my purple synthetic one. There's no there's a very little bit of play in between the liner and the blade, but that's not a big deal. Very pretty knife. I'm glad I ordered this. That bone looks great. Okay, so that's the case rust lock I ordered. Um getting on to the main attraction here um, you can see right there what uh kind of what it is if you know if you know you know pretty much how do you get this box open is there a way to get this open without destroying it i'm not sure there is hmm Okay, we're just going to destroy the box, because... Oh! Okay, never mind. Okay, and right here, in some plastic wrap, we got the Lion Steel War Horse, which is a two-bladed modern Barlow-type thing. It's got a Warncliffe blade, and clip blade and you know it's kind of it's not the most comfortable to hold like that but I mean with a name like the Lion Steel War Horse I just really wanted it um, and it's not that uncomfortable like you could totally use this um, that's one thing with two bladed knives in general sometimes they're a little bit uncomfortable to hold it's actually more comfortable with the worn cliff out and the clip closed. So yeah, this is the Lion Steel War Horse, which is awesome. 
Of course, these blades are in M390. I'm not going to be able to show you because my camera is dumb. And it can either be on my, on macro or not on macro. And I figured for the purposes of this video, it was better to have it not on macro. So yeah. After waiting like, uh, I don't know, three weeks, something like that. Let's see. They shipped on the 26th of April. Today is May May 11th. So, you know, it took quite a while with all this uh, coronavirus stuff going on. But, I'm very happy with uh, what I received here. That rust log is friggin' gorgeous. Alright, well I just wanted to do... A little unboxing video updating you guys on two new knives I got from uh, Collector Knives. This is my first time ordering from Collector Knives. Uh, generally, because I don't have a checking account, I order knives from Amazon. I've been trying to do that less um, because I don't exactly love Amazon's uh, business practices and everything. Uh, so I've ordered from Blade HQ a couple times, but this is my first time ordering from Collector Knives. And I'm really happy with the knives I received. The only thing that was kind of annoying was the shipping time. And that's not Collector's Knives' fault. They shipped them on the 26th of April. So, not Collector's Knives' fault. It's all this pandemic stuff. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys these two knives that I just got. And I figured it might be kind of cool to do a unboxing video because I've never done one before. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have a good day.